Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Explorer Max here, and I am at the bee farm, and we're gonna get ready to explore some honeybees. We're gonna see little tiny baby bees, we're gonna see the drone bees, we're gonna see honey, and we might even get a picture and some time with the queen. But before we go into the honeybee hive, we definitely gotta suit up to make sure that none of us get stung. Come on guys, let's go on this adventure together. Come on Queen Bee, let's check her out. So first we're gonna smoke them. Just smoke them up front. Nothing here guys, just a little bit of smoke. Just saying hi, just saying hi. Whoa, whoa. Hey guys, what's going on? So we just learned that what the smoke really does is send a signal to the bees saying that, hey, the hive is on fire. Oh no! The bees then now eat all of the honey, kind of like when we have Thanksgiving and we eat a lot of turkey, we get a little lazy, we get a little lethargic. And so the bees are a little lazy and lethargic. And that causes them not to really be so aggressive. So the smoke doesn't necessarily calm them down. It causes them to eat, and the eating is actually what makes them just a little lethargic. Thousands of workers and drone bees live in beehives. There are three types of honeybees, workers, drones, and the queen. The worker bee, they are the bees that collect nectar from flowers and bring it to the beehive to store it and make honey in the beehive. And the drone bees don't really have a specific role in the beehive. The worker bees have different jobs. Some of them um, are tending the young bees. They're like the nurse bees. They're, they're taking care of the eggs and the larvae. They're feeding them. Mm -hmm. um, they're cleaning the hive. They're, they're building comb in there. Other worker bees are attending to the queen. So the queen can't um, do anything for herself except lay eggs all day. So they feed her, they clean her. And by bumping up against her, they spread her pheromones that uh, yeah, 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 yeah. through the hive so that they know there's a, a queen and she's there and thriving. She's all right. And then the oldest bees are the ones who go out to find the, the nectar and the pollen from the flowers um, and also the water. It's one of the frames. Wow. It's pretty empty right now. So this hive swarmed a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. Swarming is the process by which honeybee colonies reproduce to form new colonies. When a honeybee colony outgrows its home, becomes too congested, then the workers signal it's time to swarm. Hey guys, I'm just here moving your home for a little bit though. Nice and gentle. All right. This one's a little more fuller. This is a little fuller, so they, they build upwards usually. Oh. So this is called a frame, mm -hmm. and you can see the honeycomb on the sides there, and then the bees are all working in it. There's some honey in there that's not quite ready, yeah. but they're starting to fill it in. Yummy. Hey guys. It looks like a liquid, really. But they have to flap their wings and evaporate some of the extra moisture so it gets down to be the... Sticky, yellow, gooey stuff that we all love to have. Over here, looks like there's some packed honey, so honey that's done and ready to be. Mmm. Where would it be? The, the yellow part right here? So this is packed honey. So then that means that there's honey inside there. Exactly. What about all this? This is honey too. This is this is honey in the making. So in when the it gets oh. to be the right consistency, then they'll cap that as well. Oh, that's so cool. Is it true that honey never spoils? That's true. Yes, they that. found it in the tombs in Egypt. <laughs> 100 year old honey. Well, thousands of year old honey. Mm. Wonder how that would taste. Yummy! We'll go down another layer and we'll see if we could find some, some evidence that the queen is in here. And Come on, let's find the queen bee. This gets very heavy when it's filled with honey. I can feel that. I can hear them. I see something good in here. Look at that. So see these. how this one looks a little different? Yeah, these are all capped, right? That's capped too, that's right. But that's not capped honey, that's capped brood. So those are new baby bees being born. Oh, hey guys. Hey baby bees, what's up? It's me, Explorer Max. Just here to say hi to the nursery. <laughs> right in here, you can see tiny little dots. 
and those are the eggs. Oh yeah, look at them. Can you see them? Yeah. So those are those are new eggs. So we know that the queen has been here within the past maybe three days. That's the uh, that's the babies right there, the babies. and that would be the honey that's ready right that's here. That's right. You're a natural. Right. Look at that. You should be a beekeeper, guys. <laughs> If you can get in there, that little white glob inside of those, mm. that's larva. That's baby bees getting ready. This is what we call the capped honey. That's the honey that's ready to be eaten. God forbid somebody gets stung. Their natural reaction is to kind of slap. Oop, I think I just slapped one of the bees right now. R.I.P. B. If bees are around, don't get anxious. Simply walk away. But if you do get stung, stay calm. Although most bees usually only sting once, wasps and hornets can sting again. Remove the stinger. Wash the sting with soap and water. Apply a cold pack to reduce swelling. Get your parents or guardians to get medical help. Hey guys, so I was here with Heather and she helped us out in the apiary. That's what we call like a bee farm, in the apiary. And we're here at the garden ministry at the Sisters of St. Joseph. And we wanna say thank you for giving us some time to just come and just check out the bees and check out the queen and just check out some honey. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Heather, we really appreciate you. You're always welcome. Thank you. Bye guys. Thanks for letting me come into your home and talking to you all. Uh, I'll see you guys around. Thanks for the honey. Long live the queen. Bye guys. You don't have to follow me home though. It's okay.